Alrighty, so the Oscar ratings are out and it is still in the toilet. It is absolutely abysmal, the Oscar ratings. However, this hasn't stopped the access media from trying to talk it up again because it is slightly better than last year. They are talking about it like as if it's the best thing that has happened since sliced bread. And so you have articles like this. Oscar drew 18.8 million viewers, up 13% from last year. Actually, it was 12% from last year, but I think they've updated these headlines. And in any case, they're talking about it like as if it's really 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 good however in contrast to what the oscars used to draw up until 2017 it is absolutely abysmal as i remember way back in the days in 1998 the oscars saw about 53 million viewers watch the titanic earn the best motion pictures and what about in 2014 as well you saw 12 years a slave that particular award in 2014 actually drew over 43 million viewers and the oscars have always been in the, in the high 30s low 40s and above and so on and so forth however since 2017 was the last time that the oscars actually saw anything close to 30 million or over 30 million people watching it and what happened at that particular time oscars decided after the oscar so white uh, you know hashtag was trending that they were going to be changing a whole lot of things so they decided to wokeify the oscars and because they wokeify the oscars most of our movies got wokeified as well and when you wokeify things to please the mob do you think it will ever be enough it's never enough and so you have articles like this that says oscars new diversity rules all well and good but will they make any difference and this was put out about two years ago but it has been updated for more than audiences actually it's been updated as they usually do on this online uh write-ups and this is some of the rules just bear in mind the kind of rules they put out in place so that the oscars will stop being called racist so that they can please the mob the headline criterion is on screen representation at least one lead character in the movie must be from an underrepresented racial or ethnic group at least 30 percent of the general assembled cast must be from at least underrepresented groups women racial ethnic lgbtq people uh people with disabilities or the movie's subject must concern one of those groups so in order for these things to make money they have to adhere to these policies hence why we've been seeing a whole lot of movies prioritize woke content rather than actually prioritizing escapism and entertainment now instead of the access media actually coming out and telling the truth that the oscars are on a bad cause of action they continue to shield for them and make more excuses for them like this one this year's telecast faced tough competition from hbo season's finale of the breakthrough smash the last of us who stars pedro pascal was ironically a presenter on the kudos kudo cast now they also knew and they admitted that if you put good movies out there those good movies would actually put boss in seats and they sort of low-key admitted that in this article and here's what they said but it also benefited presumably from more interest in this year's oscars competition given the presence of the popular films like everything everywhere avatar and top gun maverick in the race not to mention the fact that the audiences might have been curious about how Jimmy Kimmel and the telecast would address a last year's slap by Will Smith against presenter Chris Rock. So the Oscars were seriously hoping that the good movies that were put out this year would actually get more faces watching the Oscars. However, it still didn't work because majority of the other contents that they were approving of were woke and people do not like to watch woke content. And this is leading them to a serious slippery slope. As many actors have been using this platform to become more preachy, more woke and telling people how virtuous they are and it is starting to bite them back in the face because some of the agendas that they are pushing just does not coexist something that jamie lee Curtis found out the hard way while she was trying to virtual signal after the oscars in answering questions from certain people who weren't too happy that angela bassett did not win the award that she won so let's take a look at how she ran into a word starlet in trying to answer one of the simplest questions in the world and then she tried to virtual signal and it kind of like bit her in the butt check this out thank you so much congratulations i'm tanish laverne grant with black in america.com mm. there are 65 women this year nominated for academy awards across various disciplines how does it feel for you to be amongst that number now she says she's from blackinamerica.com you can tell that she's pissed that Angela Bassett did not win so she's really really you know like how do you feel taking this away from a black woman because you can never be woke enough with these people you can never be woke enough 
surreal um, and proud. Um, and uh, obviously, I would like to see a lot more women be nominated so that there's. Here we go. Here comes the virtual signal. Gender parity uh, in all the areas. Gender parity. In all the branches. And I think we're getting there. We're not anywhere near there. Mm. And of course, the inclusivity then that involves the bigger question, which is. Yeah, tell us why we are not able to get there. Please tell us. Is do you, how do you include everyone when there are binary choices, which is very difficult. And as the mother of a trans daughter, I completely understand that. And yet, to degender the category also, I'm concerned, will diminish the opportunities for more women, which is something I also have been working hard to try to promote. So it's a complicated question, mm. but I think the most important thing is inclusivity and more women. I mean, basically, just f more women anywhere, anytime, all at once. All right. And next you can't have inclusivity and more women everywhere all at once. That's why she's going into a jibber jabber, jibber jabber, jibber jabber. Yes, let's have more women, but let's include uh, the trans women. And, you know, but the trans women inclusivity removes the idea of women and includes. No, she's totally confused. And you can see that in her eyes that, look, she's trying to virtual signal as much as she can. But listen to me, guys, this particular movement, the feminist movement and the trans movement for inclusivity the push for a gender neutral society they just don't mix because while one is trying to recognize women and trying to lift them up the other one is trying to erase them or redefine what it actually means to be a woman reminds me of what one of these greatest philosophers of our time actually said christopher wallace aka big said money and blood don't mix like two with no Find yourself in serious <laughs> fill in the blanks and you know what I mean. But in any case, you guys, that's where we are. Cuckoo for Cocoa Puff Land.